let's continue from where we left off yesterday. Uh, I remember at the end of the session, I think it was Amatsu also who needed uh, some more exercises on what uh, we were dealing on what we dealt with yesterday. And then I promise that uh, there will be a number of exercises on what we dealt with yesterday before we continue. Now, let me request you to find the reduced row echelon form for the following matrix. Please write down the following matrix. The first row is one, one, one. Uh, the first row for the matrix that I'm requesting you to find the reduced row echelon form, as I said, is one, one, one. The second row is one, one, zero. The third row is one, zero, zero. I'll just give you two minutes to write the given matrix in reduced row echelon form. Hmm. Like I removed like the ones first. And then that's it. Mm, how let I do? Uh, I removed like I said row one times negative one plus row two, and then I got a new row two, and then I said mm -hmm. row row one times negative one plus row three. I got a new row three from there. Yeah. Then what did you get? As your My matrix after that. Row one it's one one one. Row two is zero zero negative one. Row three is zero negative one negative one. I got row one is one 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 zero one zero 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 negative one. Uh so, so it's, uh first row is one one one. Second row is zero zero negative one. And then the third row is zero one one. It's actually I don't I'm not actually a bit stuck. Okay. Let, do. Sir. Let me thank you. Let me ask you again. How should a reduced row H how should a matrix in a reduced row echelon form look like? It should have zeros and only diagonal ones. Yes. That's what I got. Oh, okay. Uh, let me try one more thing and then. I'll tell you my aunt. Maguena. Okay, Lerado, please tell Lerado, please say it again. Maybe those who were here, like Noma Omet and Maguena. Even those who are not here, maybe they've gone through this section, then they'll be they might be able to follow. Please repeat that again. Uh, reduced row echelon form has only zeros and diagonal ones. Did you hear that? Yes. Say. Yes. The only like this is the one that I get and I'm not sure what's wrong. I get one zero 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 one zero 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 negative one. Should be a positive one. Okay. Last entry. That last entry should be positive one. Okay. Hmm. Oh, say. Mm hmm. Yeah, I got it. Are you sure? I'm sure. Okay. Please help them how to get it. Just explain to them. Maybe you will explain better than I can do. From the beginning matrix. 
years okay. on how you got there to the final answer. Okay, so from the beginning matrix, I multiplied row one. Hang on, Larado. Okay. Please talk to them. You can see them, yeah? Yes, I can but see I, them. Except my colleague, DK Lady. Please talk to them. Okay. Uh, on the first matrix, I multiplied row one times negative one plus row two, and also applied the same thing to row three. And then I got the matrix one, 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 zero, zero, negative one, zero, negative one, negative one. And then from that matrix, I multiplied row three by one, and then added it to row one. And then I made row one, one, zero, zero. And then row two was, and then I also uh, did the same for row two. And then my row two was zero, uh, negative one, and also negative one. And then row three was zero, negative one, and negative one. So to remove the one, like, can you still understand like what I'm trying to say? Or oh, you are lost. Lerato, does it have to have uh, the bottom zeros and and the and the top zeros? Everything. It must have everything. Bottom oh. and top zeros. Okay. Okay. And then after doing that, I had a matrix which said one. Zero 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 one zero zero negative one negative one and then on row two the one that has zero one zero I multiplied it by one and added it on row three so it became one times one is one plus negative one zero one times zero is zero plus negative one negative one and then say said that number negative one should become positive. So I multiplied row three by negative one and then it turned into positive one. And then I got the matrix one zero 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 one zero 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 one. Like do you understand or sorry to take you back, guys? Can I ask what are we busy with? I just joined in now because of low shading. I gave them a matrix which has got this, okay, sir. which has got the following entries. The first row has got the following entries one, one, one. The first row, one, row, one, one. Yes, sir. The first row has got the entries yes. one, one, one. Yes. The second row has got the entries one, one, zero. Okay, sir. The third row has got the entries one zero zero. Okay. And then the task is to write that matrix in a reduced row echelon form. Okay, thank you, sir. Yes. Thank you. So Norma much Omet, no problem. Norma Omet, you yes, sir. talking? Yes, I didn't understand the first part, like the beginning. I didn't. I was a bit lost on that part. Please talk to Larado. Yes, and Larado. He, like you, yes. 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 Uh, yeah. I'll try and make like the whole thing easier, Anne. Okay. You okay, see, no row problem. Thank you. Row three, interchange mm -hmm. with row one with row two, man. Mm -hmm. Interchange row three with row two. Okay. And then apply like row one times negative one plus row two. And then you will get okay. zero, you will get zero, negative one, negative one. And then row one times negative one plus row three, you will get zero, zero, negative one. You now have a new matrix which has one, 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 
0, negative 1, negative 1, 0, 0, negative 1. You understand? Yeah, yeah, I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you now. Okay, and then that negative 1 at the bottom, mm -hmm. at that row, multiply everything there by negative 1 to have a new third row, which has 0, 0, positive 1. And then that third row, which has 0, 0, positive 1, you will multiply and add the third row mm -hmm. by 1 and then add it to the second row. The new second row, the new second row will be 0, negative 1, 0. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. I understand. And then you take the same third row, multiply mm -hmm. it by negative 1 and add it to the first row. And then the first row, the new one, will be 1, 1, 0. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah. And then the matrix that you'll have, Anne, after doing mm -hmm. those things, you have 1, 1, 0, 0, negative 1, 0, and then 0, 0, 1. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I left it 1, 1 now. You say row 2. Mm -hmm. Multiply it by negative positive mm -hmm. one yeah. and then add it to row one. Your new row one will be one, zero, zero. Mm -hmm. the, new, the new matrix will be one, zero, zero, mm -hmm. negative one, zero, 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 one. Yeah. And then that one must be positive. You just say row two times negative one. Negative one. And then it will be positive everything. Yeah. Yeah. Do you understand? understand? Yeah, understand, understand. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Thank you, Larado. Did everybody follow what uh, did everybody follow Larado's explanation? Yes, no? Yes. Thank you. Now, with everybody having understood and then followed the explanation that was provided by Larato, I'm now expecting you to all be able to, uh, to write this next reduced, the following matrix that I'm going to give you in the reduced row HLN form. Please write the following matrix in reduced row HLN4. The first row has got the following entries. 200. The second row has got the following entries. 000. The third row has the following entries. Minus four, zero, zero. Did you all get that? Yes, sir. Thank you. Please uh, write that matrix in a reduced row HLN form. <laughs> No. Like from the question, this is my answer. Uh, Lerat, oh, is it Lerat? That's Lerat, isn't it? Yes, it's Lerat. Okay. Can Lerat, do we wait for maybe two or maybe? One or two people who can be able to compare your my answer, yours, and then with the others. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Thank you. Let's give them. I think I'm also done with this one. Gamera is also done. Then, if that is the case, let's wait for one more person. Also, me say. Spencer is done. Okay, Spencer. Let's start with Spencer and then go to Kamore Kiamoretsu. 
and then in that order, Larato, then you'll be the last. I, I think the the row in the middle, the second row, is all zeros. So which means this can be in reduced row echelon form. Spencer, I'm listening. The what second the second row has all zeros, like three zeros. So if you want to reduce it into reduced row echelon form, we can't. I heard you. Now you can't, you can't reduce it. But the first row, what I did, I, I multiplied it by one over two, which makes it one zero zero. And if you exchange the second row with the third row, still you can't, uh, it can't be in reduced row echelon form. Because you can't have like diagonal zero, diagonal ones. Okay. I heard you. The next one after Spencer. Okay, so that's also what I got. What I did first, it was because this, the second row, it's all zeros. I interchanged it to make it the last row. And whereby I kept my first row as 200 zero zero and interchanged row two and row three, uh, which gave me negative four zero zero and zero zero for the last row. Then I changed that two to have a leading one, which is I multiplied it by a half and it gave me um, AS one zero zeros. And the other one, the last, uh, the second row, when I, um, when I, Add um, row one to it, which is one, a uh, row two plus four row one. It still gives me zero. So there's only one leading one in this matrix and the rest is zeros. What are the entries in the first row? My first row is one zero zero. Second row? Zero zero zero. Third row? Zero, zero, zero. Thank you. Uh, Lerado? I got one, zero, zero. Zero, zero, zero. Zero, zero, zero. Yeah, my right. Sir? And Lerado, let me thank you. And, and Lerado, let me thank you. Yeah, Please explain, please explain to Spencer how the reduced row echelon form what for that matrix was obtained. Okay, I must repeat what I just said the time I was explaining. To him. Okay. Spencer, Spencer, please talk to Gamera. Yes, sir. Say before. Okay, why? Before she start. I have a question, sir. Yes. Since the row echelon form uh, of a three by three is supposed to have like leading ones on the diagonal and zero, zero this side. The first one, if you divide by one over two, it gives you one, zero, zero. If you don't interchange, the second one is going to give you zero, zero, zero. And the third one is going to give, the third one, if you multiply by negative one over four, it will give you one, then zero, zero. Then afterwards you can interchange with row two, but still, if you want the the reduced row echelon form, will you be able to get the diagonal ones there? I'll, I will answer you after Gamrets has provided an explanation. Okay, okay. Yes. Gamrets, please go ahead. Okay, sir. But I believe that his explanation is still correct. What I did first, um, uh, I, okay. What I did first here, I, my two, I saw the two and then I divided by one and a half, right? Then I obtained for the first row, one, zero, zero. And for the second row and the third row, I interchanged because of that four and negative four and then i i said row okay row two plus row four 
um, role one because of that leading one day. And then I got my row two as zeros and then the row three is zeros as well. Thank you, Gamrizu. Uh, Spencer. Yes, sir. Spencer. Yes. I hear, I heard what you said. Yeah. But in this case, by looking at the entries of this particular matrix that was given to us. Yes. That's why we end up having zeros in the second row and then even in the third row. Okay, okay. Is that making sense or not? So what you are saying, it can be in reduced row HLM form if it has only the leading one and zeros. Only in this case. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I get it. Lerado, your hand is up. Maybe Lerado wants to add, please. Okay. Lerado. Uh, sir, you remember yes. how I did register HLN form? Sorry? The, like you remember how I defined it? There's a matrix with elementary pivots, which like, you know, are leading ones and zeros only. I still remember. I think maybe I might have confused some people. Uh, on page 12, on the textbook, it shows examples of reduced row HLN forms. So if someone can go there, they will understand. They also explain why it is also like that. For example, this matrix, since, since and it has infinitely many solutions, it does not have to have the leading one sometimes or something like that. They explain it on page 12 on the textbook. Like, yeah, everything. OK, thank you, Gerardo. Now let's look at matrices and matrix operations. We are already familiar with what a matrix is. They are just giving any examples of matrices here. Uh, we know that the matrix has got a row, has got rows and columns. Now, let's start here. We are saying, let me give you a typical example. Mm, I'm going to ask Noma Omet, please give us a three by three matrix with any entries and then all of you, I will request you to write down the matrix that Noma Omet will tell us. Uh, okay, okay, so yes, sir. Okay, so um, let's say two, three, one. I will, can I can I proceed? And you must remember what you said, yeah? Yes, sir. Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> two, three. Okay. That's row number one, and then row number the two. The, let's say. Oh, oh, okay. No, Mohammed. The first yes. row again. Mm -hmm. uh, Two, three, one. Second row. Four, five, four, two, three. And then third row. Third row uh, five, three, one. Thank you. Yes. Uh, let's call that matrix capital A. Okay. Okay, sir. Then let me go here. Obvious. Obvious. No, no, sir. 
I'm requesting you to give us. Oh, Vuyo, your hand is up. Please talk to us. Vuyo? Vuyo? Vuyo, yes, can sir. you hear us? Yes, sir. Uh, can can I have uh, the entries for the second uh, row? Uh, no moment, please repeat. So uh, row number two is uh, four, two, three. Four, two, and three. Thank you. Yes. Mm. Before I spoke to Vuyo, where was I? Oh, Who was yes. I talking to? Obvious. Obvious, how are you? Yeah. How are you? Okay. Obvious, can you hear me? I'm okay, sir. Okay, yes, thank I you. Yes, I can hear you. All right, thank you. I'm requesting you, yeah. and, and then I'll request everybody to listen. Obvious, yeah. I'm requesting you to give us the entries for a three by three matrix of your choice. Okay. Uh, I, I have to give you like now. Now, yes. Hello, sir. Can you hear me? All right. Yes, now. Um, now. Okay, so these are the entries. Uh, first row is uh, 3 um, minus 2, uh, 1. And second row uh, is um, uh, 2. One minus one, and then four. Do you remember what you what you said to us? Yes, I, I do remember. Okay, please repeat row one. Row one is three minus two, one. Row two. Row two is um a two one minus one. The last row. Zero two four. Did you all get that? Yes, sir. Now, uh, who should I go to? Uh, who gave us the first matrix? Oh, no, my moment. Okay. Camera is. Sir? I'm asking you to give us a two by two matrix of your choice. And then I will request everybody to write down the entries for the May for a Two by two matrix that camera it will give us. Okay, first row one, two, second row three, four. Please repeat. One, two, three, four. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, sir. Did you all capture that? Hello. Did you all get What yes, camera did you say? Say. Yes, Larabi. What are the alphabets for the matrix? Okay. Let's make we it. Ag two. We agreed that we'll call the first matrix that normal Med gave us matrix A. And then now, for simplicity, 
let's say the matrix that uh, obvious gave us, we'll call it matrix B. And then for simplicity again, may we please agree that uh, we'll refer to the matrix that was just given to us by camera to, to be capital C. Is it okay? It's fine. <laughs> Are you sure it's fine? <laughs> if it is fine, then I will say my hand is up. Yes, obvious. Yes, um, for matrix A, the one that um, the first uh, person gave, can you, can I please have the last row? Or even can you, can that person repeat that, uh, that matrix? I'm missing one last row. If I'm not... Which matrix, obvious? The first one, the first one, I'm missing, I was trying to settle down, but now I'm, so I need uh, the whole matrix. Can you please help? The first matrix? Yes. Okay, no moment, please, uh, please repeat okay, the, the matrix. Okay, so uh, first row is two, three, one. Did you get it? Yes, yes, two, three, one. Okay, second row is four, two, three. Four, two, three. And then, uh, yes, four, two, three. Okay. And uh, the third row is five, three, one. Okay. All right. Thank you. We are now having three matrices. We are going to use those matrices to apply the concepts that we are about to deal with. Now, let's start with uh, equality. Let's say we have got, please listen carefully. Let's say, for example, we've got this matrix, ne? which has got the, we've got the end, we've got the matrix, which has got these entries. That were given to us by Norma Homet. We'll look at the matrix that was given to us by Norma Homet and the uh, one that was given to us by Obvious. Are we together? Uh, network, network, uh, network, network. Whose network? My network or your network? No, my network, my network. I it just went off and then I had to. But we can Come hear on. you. Yes, yes, now I'm okay. Okay. Let's look at the matrix that Norma Ahmed gave us and the matrix that uh, Obvious gave us. We agree that uh, both those matrices are of a three by three. This, I mean, we agree that those may, the size for those matrices is a three by three, are uh, three by three matrices. They've got the same size. They've got three rows and three columns. Do we agree? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes, 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 yes. Now, if we agree, what is the first entry? Okay, let's start by looking at the first row that was given. The matrix that was given to us by Norma Homet and the one that was given to us by Obvious. What is the first entry that were in? How should I put this? Okay. Okay. This is what I need to say. Let's just look at one matrix before we look at the next matrix. This is what we say. 
the matrix that Nomaomet gave us is a three by three matrix, meaning it has got three rows and three columns. So we say two matrices are equal. If let's say the first entry in the first matrix is equal to the first entry in the second matrix. I'm still on the first, first row. And then the second entry in the first row is equals to the second entry in the first row in that particular matrix. Then if the third entry in the first row in the first matrix is equals to the third entry in the first row in the second matrix. Am I making sense to you? Yes. Now, if the second and if the first entry, if the first entry in the second row is equals to the first entry in the second row in the second matrix. And again, if the second entry in the second row of the first matrix is equals to the second entry in the next matrix. If the third entry in the second row of the first matrix is equals to the third entry in the second row of the next matrix. Go into the third row in the first matrix. If the first entry, first entry in the third row of the final, if the first entry in the third row of the first matrix is equals to the first entry in the third row of the next matrix. And if the second entry in the third row of the first matrix is equals to the second entry in the third row, if the second entry in the third row of the first matrix is equals to the second entry in the third row of the next matrix. And if the last entry in the third row of the first matrix is equals to the third entry in the third row of the last matrix, then we say those matrices are equal. If even if it can just be one entry where both matrices are not the same, then we say those matrices are not equal. Are we together? Yes, we are together. All of you? Yes, sir. Then, we say, that's my story about equality. Then let's talk about addition of matrices. We can only add, subtract, multiply matrices. Matrices cannot be divided. We can only add, subtract, and multiply matrices. Now, let's start with addition. Since the matrix that was given to us by Noma Homet is a three by three, and the matrix that was given to us by Obvious is a three by three, those matrices can be added or subtracted. The reason is you can only add or subtract matrices of the same size. 
because the size for both those matrices is a three by three. Have you got that? Should I repeat? Did you all get that? We understand it, sir. Okay, thank you. Then you can, we can only, that's my story about addition. Now I'm moving on to subtraction. We can only subtract matrices of the same size. And then when we add or subtract, we add or subtract the corresponding entries. But if matrices are not of the same size, they cannot be added together or they cannot be subtraction between those matrices. That's my story about equality, addition, and subtraction. I don't want to confuse you by bringing in multiplication. I'll bring multiplication at a later stage. That is, is my difference. Uh, please just talk because I'm on this page. I don't see whose end is up. Whose end is up? All right, it's my answer, obvious. Please talk, sir. So you said um, uh, matrices doesn't divide. Sorry, obvious. You you were saying you were saying matrices you don't divide in matrices. That's what you said. That's what I said. Yes. So uh, okay, now I I go back to the to to, to the assignment. Uh, I'm finding it difficult to. Solve those um, algebraic matrix expressions, those ones that involve the letters only. Uh, if they don't divide, I'm in big trouble. Obvious, please repeat what you just said. I didn't get that. I'm saying uh, it's back to assignment. Uh, there are some expressions that we need to solve for X. Now, sometimes I used to I, I, I apply some division there. So, which means that I I, I was wrong. Is that, is that correct? Hey, brother, that is a harsh word. I won't, I won't use that word. But what I'll just advise you, my advice is, is that matrices can never be divided. Okay. Are you okay? Are you okay, obvious? I, I, yeah. I think. Now I, it, v, Vuyo, your hand is. Oh, okay. Vuyo, just hold. Obvious? You're still talking? Okay. So so now uh, I will need assistance on how to solve for a certain unknown that you are asked to solve. Obvious, I don't hear you. I'm saying. I'm saying it means that I will, I will have a difficult moment to solve for for the for X in the assignment because sometimes um, now I need to make X the the subject of formula which if we don't divide it's it's a problem because we realize that the matrices are actually multiplied and now how can I make a certain variable. Uh, that is multiplying other um, variables to make it the subject of formula. Mm, okay, here is my advice. Obvious, I will not specifically solve an assignment problem with you, but what I can do can be to look for almost a similar exercise. And then... <laughs> we go through that together and then you yourself 
go and work out on the that particular assignment exercise. I'm not All allowed right. to do that. Oh. Yes. Is that okay? No, it's fine. It's fine. I mean, that's how it is in meds. We do, we work on the similar exercise so that you can be able to work on the exercise that you will be faced with. Not exactly an assignment exercise. If it is an assignment exercise, I can give you hints. But having went with you on almost the very same exercise, which I'll be quite sure that uh, after that, you'll be able to handle that particular assignment. And then if that is the case, then uh, through my colleague, then you can, maybe we can have a one-on-one -on -one where we can be able to talk about uh, the challenge that you are encountering. Is that okay with you? Obvious. Okay, obvious. That will be my response to your question. Voyo, your hand is up. Yes, sir. Uh, I don't know if I will be giving an answer or what. On one yes, hand. Yes, yes. Uh, followed by okay, Spencer. Spencer, I noted your hand. After Voyo, it will be Spencer. Onward, onward, uh, obvious have just uh, asked about and say so you said uh, in matrices we are not dividing and that's true. In matrices we are not dividing. In order to find the unknown multiplied by an in by an a matrix equals a, a matrix, we have to first find the inverse of a matrix that multiplies the unknown. Then multiply that inverse by the, by the matrix that equals uh, the, the, the unknown and the, and the other matrix that uh, multiply the unknown. I don't think, I think you follow, right? So I also wanted to answer him that like, let's say we have A, and you want to cancel A, you multiply by the inverse, so you can get the identity matrix. Those are some of the like the things that you have to do. You don't have to to divide. You have to multiply by the inverse, so you can cancel. Thank you, Kiamwezu. Your hand is up. Okay, so I'm not too sure, but I just want to. I think obvious is referring to when he says. He divides when he wants to find, uh, maybe when making uh, X the, um, the subject of the formula. I think obvious is referring to the, um, the entries. It's not referring to the whole, um, what is this, the metric. It's referring to the entries, when we work out the entries. Uh, do we do, we can we divide or we can't divide? Cameron, if I understand you clearly, is his question to say, if we have got the entries in a matrix, can we be able to divide those entries by a certain number of our choice? Yes. Yes. That is allowed. Yes. He's, I don't think he's referring to the whole matrix because when he, he explained, he used that example of making X the subject of the formula. You see, when you want the, to know the, the value of X, if x has the coefficient, obviously we can divide by the coefficient to what is equated to so that we could have the value of x. So that's why I believe that he's referring to the entries. So if that's the case, yes, we can divide. But a matrix, we do not, like the whole thing, we can't. Thank you. Okay. Can I say something? Can I say something, sir? Yes. Okay. Uh, you see where I'm referring to, like, uh, for example, let me say we have got, um, uh, there's an expression, a matrix expression 
that says uh, like uh, maybe inverse of x times inverse of b times inverse of c equals to uh, probably inverse of uh, maybe transpose of a and then they say make x the subject of formula oh okay obvious yes sir okay. i've got a request to make yes we are we are not yet there i think i hear what uh, your concern is or what is actually worrying you all right we are not yet there we haven't i okay. haven't yet spoken about the trace inverses of matrices I believe when I'm there or when I'm done with that section, then what is actually worrying you now will no longer be worrying you, will no longer worry you once I've covered that section. Okay. I would really appreciate that, sir. Thank you very much. We are not yet there. Those are the sections that are still upcoming. Thanks. <clears throat> please, please just bear with us. We'll get there. Thank you. So, can I continue? You can continue. Thank you. Now, with the matrix from normal OMED and the matrix from obvious which are of the same size. We call the first matrix A, and then we call the matrix from normal moment, we called it A, the matrix from obvious, we called it B. Please find A plus B, meaning add those two matrices, and then you'll tell me the final matrix. I'm giving you two minutes to do that. When you are done, you don't say your answer, you just, Mention your name so that we can be able to compare answers. Is that OK? OK, can you repeat that, sir? What are we supposed to do? What I'm requesting. Sometime. OK, here is my request. Remember the first matrix from normal moment. Yes, sir. And the second matrix is what you gave us, eh? Yes, sir. Now, please add those two matrices and then find the final matrix. I'm looking for the final matrix. When you are done, you don't say your answer. You just mention your name to say you are done so that we can be able to compare our answers. OK. Thank you. Lerato. Lerado is finished. OK, thank you, Lerado. Maguena. Maguena. Yeah, Then, Kiamorizu. Uh, hang on, let me. I'm sitting in the dark. There is no electricity here. Uh, let me. Is Lerato? Is Makwena? I'm also dancing. Makwena and Kiamore uh, Zune in that order, ne? Is Lerato Makwena Kiamore Zune? Okay. And someone said it's just done. Your name, sir? Oh, oh, yeah. Who? What's your name? Spencer. Spencer. And Spencer is also done. Okay. Yes. Sorry? It's Vuyo here. Yeah. I'm also done. Vuyo is also done. Who else? 
Okay. Thank I'm you. also done. Say obvious is also done. Obvious is also done. Now, where should I start? Okay. Okay, let me start here. Obvious, please tell us what you found. Followed by Vuyo and then followed by Spencer. We'll stop there. In that order, obvious, Vuyo, Spencer. Before we right. go to the others. Um, first row, I got five, one, two. Mm hmm we are listening. Second row, if I'm not mistaken. Obvious, first row. Yeah, first row, I just said, um, I got five, one, two. Second row. Six three two. Third row. Five five five. Vuyo. Thank you, obvious. Vuyo. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I get a matrix of A plus B as five one two. Second row is six three two. The third row is five, five, five. Uh, Spencer? The first row is five, one, two. Second row, six, three, two. The third row is five, five, five. Okay, now. Mm -hmm. Here is my, my question. Obvious, Vuyo and Spencer, do you agree on your entries for the first row, second, and third? Do the three of you agree? Or yes. disagree? Is there agreement? Yes, we agree. Yes, I agree. Yes. Or the three of you do agree? Yes, sir. Thank you. Now, let me move yeah, on to... Kiamorezu, Kiamorezu, Makwena, and Lerado. Kiamorezu, please say your answers, and then Makwena and Lerado will look at theirs, and then they will tell us whether they agree with you or disagree with you. Okay, I got 512-632-555. Makwena, Lerado, what are you saying? I agree with her. Rado? I agree with her. Then do we all agree? Lerado, Mabu, Enagia, Moritu, Spencer, Voyo, and Obvious. Do we all agree? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank, you. Thank you. That is addition of matrices in a nutshell. Now, let me request you to perform the following operation for me. What we just did now, we, it was just A plus B. Do we agree? Clear, Yes, right? yes. Thank you. Now, I'm requesting you to calculate B minus A. And then we're looking for the final matrix. B minus A. All right, now let's do this. <clears throat> Spencer followed by Gia followed by Obvious. We'll stop there. The first will be Spencer followed by Gia followed by Obvious. Spencer, please go ahead. The first row one minus five and zero. The second row minus two minus one and minus four. The third row minus five minus one in three. Yeah, obvious. Do you agree with what Spencer has just said? Yes. Or is there a disagreement? I agree with him. 
Kia, you agree? Obvious, I'm not hearing you. Yes, I do agree, sir. I do agree. Okay. <clears throat> now, Makwena, no Mahomet and Lerato, do you agree with what Spencer, Kia, and Obvious are agreeing on? Yes. No. Yes. No. Is it Lerato with a no? Yeah, it's me with the no. Yes, uh, please go ahead, brother. Like, the middle term, why is it negative one? Spencer? It's one which minus one, which? Two, two, two minus three. Mm -hmm. Middle Lerato, term. Which en Lerato, which Second energy are you referring to? What second row I got the second second row I got negative two one negative four. Okay. The entries for ne for second row uh, it's two minus four, which gives us a negative two. For the second um second entry, it's positive one minus negative two. That's how we got a negative one. No problem. Hmm? Lerato? I'm fine, sir. I said two minus one instead of one minus two. Are you okay now? Yes, I'm okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, let me remind you that. Uh, we have got three matrices, matrix A, B, and C. Ne? We all agree on that, ne? Yes, sir. Thank you. Now, please, quickly, quickly, quickly. I'm requesting an answer for A plus C. And an answer for B plus A, C plus B. I'm requesting A plus C and then C plus B. So, uh, I'm done. I'm done. Who is done? Spencer. Sorry, who is? Spencer, yes. Who else? Makwen. Obviously. Yeah. Makwena. Uh, is I've got I captured Spencer Gia Makwena and Obvious. Obvious. And Vuyo. Lerado. Yes. And Vuyo. Okay, now I'm not going to pick anyone. So any one of you, you just mentioned your name, you give us an answer for A plus C. Spencer. Your name and you give us an answer. Yes, Spencer? I think you cannot add because they don't have the, the same size. A is a three by three matrix. C is the two by three, a two by two. So they are not of the same size. Spencer, please ask them whether they agree with you or not. Do you agree with me? Yes, we agree. We agree with you. Uh, no, Mohammed. You know, brother, this one will take you ten minutes to work out. C plus yes. B. Yes, C plus B. Have you got an answer for me? Yes. Uh, uh, so we can't we can't add it so because they're not the same size. We can't subtract. I mean, because they're not the same sizes. Are you sure, or no, Mohammed? <laughs> C and B, sir. Mm -hmm. C no, plus we can't, B. We can't. We can't. We I'm giving you ten minutes. To, I'm giving you ten minutes to wake up this one. No, so we cannot. So they're not the same sizes. Okay, thank you. Yes, I agree yes, with you. Thank you, Mohamed. Those yes, matrices cannot be added or subtracted. Thank you. Now, when I have dealt with the quality of matrices, addition of matrices, and the subtraction of matrices, do we agree? 
Okay, now let's come here. Let's say we all know what a scalar is. Eh? A scalar. Let's say you can choose any number. Yeah, let's say you choose any number. Let's take our last matrix, matrix C. Uh, who again gave us that matrix C? Yeah. Who's the owner? Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Gia. Let's look at that matrix that Gia gave us. Uh, let's say we multiply that matrix by. Okay, before I say this, let me start by saying if you are multiplying a matrix by a constant, what you are you are simply doing is to multiply each and every entry of that matrix by that constant. If we have got a matrix and then we are multiplying it by a constant, we multiply each and every entry of that matrix by that constant. Am I making sense? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Now, Voyo, please give us any number. A scalar for me, it will be uh, two. Two, okay, thank you. Now, let me request all of you to multiply that matrix that Kia gave us by two. And then when you are done, just say your name. Obvious. Yeah. Obvious. No Mohammed. Lerato. No Mohammed. Spencer. Spencer here. Magwen, are you still here with us? Magwen. I'm, I'm with you, but I'm still cooking as well. Still cooking. Yeah, I'm listening and cooking at the same time. Hey, we are hungry. We'll come to eat. <laughs> Yo. Yes, we'll come to eat. But now. Yes, it's for uh, you. And yes, for you. Uh, now I'm not calling out any name. Any one of you who has got a matrix C multiplied by two. You just say your name, then you give us an answer. Yeah. Yeah. What did you get, my sister? Two four six eight. Hmm? Two four six eight. Two four six eight. Please ask them whether they agree with you or not. Yeah, Trevor, please. Yes. I agree with you. Yes, I agree. Okay. All of them agree with you. So in simple terms, that is multiplying a matrix by a scalar. And let me say, Noma, Noma Umat, please give us any scalar. Uh, a two by two, sir. Ah, sorry, 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 sorry. A scalar. Sorry. A scalar, a scalar. Uh, uh, let's see, six. Six? Yes. Six, eh? Please ask them, ask them. Ne? Remember that matrix that you gave us? Ne? Yes, sir. Ask all of them to multiply that matrix that you gave us by six and tell us so that they can tell us what they got. Okay. Uh, please uh, multiply uh, matrix E by scalar six. Matrix? Matrix E. A by six. Yes, matrix A. Yes, by six. And give the answer. Spencer, thank you, brother. Uh, please tell them. Please tell them to listen attentively so that they can tell us whether they agree or disagree with your okay. matrix. Okay, must listen attentively. The first row is twelve, eighteen, and six. 
The second row is 24, 12, and 18. The third row is 20, 18, and 6. Do you agree? Can you repeat your third row? Oh, the third row is, the third row is uh, 30, 30, 18, and 6. Agree. Agree. Oh, okay. There seems to be an agreement and no disagreement. Thank you. That's all about scalar multiplication on my side. Now let's move on to the next definition. Oh, yeah. Now we are here. Uh, let me ask you in advance. Please, let's not fight. Okay. Are you still with me? Yes, we're still with you. Okay. Uh, let there be no fight here. Now, where should I start? Let me start like this. I'm going to make it very simple for you. So that there will be no fighting or quarreling. I'm going there. Okay. Do you see what I've projected? Yes. Yeah. Can you all see this? Can you all yes. see my screen? Yes, you can see. Okay, thank you. Now. I can see your screen. Can see my screen? No. People, can you see this screen? Yes. Yes, I can see it. Which is written example six. Yes, we can see. Someone said, can see my screen. Who can see my screen? Lerato, please help me. Who's that person who said she can see my screen? It's Makwen. Makwen. Are you still unable to see my screen? Yes. Sure. Okay, is it only Makwena who is unable to see my screen? Okay. Yes, it's only. Can, oh, it's only Makwena. Sure. Makwena. Or is it because you are in the kitchen cooking? Are you the one who's cooking? Yes. Hmm? Yes. But I can only you... see I, I can't see the example that you're talking about. I can I can only see the people the names of the people on my screen. Hmm. People, I'm not on that page, on that on that screen where you can be able to see your names. I'm on this page where there is ex is written example six here. Yes. Sir. Determining whether a product is defined. Are you all on this page with me? Yes. Yes. I, that page. I think she should. Uh, she should exit and join again. She will be able to see the screen. Okay. I'm good now. I hope she heard you. Did you hear the advice, Magwen? Hmm. Okay. Now, multiplication of matrices is very, very simple. Okay. How or why is it simple? When we multiply, we multiply two matrices. 
the order of matrices is very important. Now, let's see. In this case, we've got matrix A. Remember, this is how we read the size of a matrix. The size of a matrix is given by rows followed by columns. Meaning in this case, for matrix A, matrix, matrix A has got M rows, but R columns. Are we together? Yes, we are together. Yes. Then when we look at matrix B, matrix B has got R rows, and n columns okay here is how my story goes for multiplying matrices we say we can only multiply two matrices a and b if and only if the number of columns in the first matrix is equal to the number of rows in the second matrix then the size of the final matrix, AB, will be given by the rows of the first matrix and the columns of the second matrix. Is my story making sense? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. We are saying we can only multiply two matrices A and B only if the number of columns in the first matrix is equal to the number of rows in the second matrix. Otherwise, those matrices cannot be multiplied. That's what I'm saying. Now, how do we then multiply let me get this page here so that uh, we can do this together no more no more yes sir what is that matrix again the matrix a matrix a um, first row is two three one two Three one, three, yes. One. Second row is four, two, three. Mm -hmm. Third row is five, three, one. Thank you. Yes, now, matrix B was given to us by obvious. Ne? Obvious. What are the entries for matrix B? Okay, anyone? Entries for matrix B, please give them to me again. That's three, negative two, one. S slowly, three, negative, negative two, one. Yes. Three, three, negative two, one. Second yes. row? Two, one, negative one. Mm -hmm. Last row? Zero, two, four. Thank you. Now, let's take these two matrices, A, B, okay? Now, this is what we are writing. We are saying A, B. A, B, that means we must multiply matrix A by matrix B, okay? The order is important. I didn't say B, A. I said A, B. You got that, eh? Now. Yes, sir. Yes. Now, this is what we will say. We'll say A, B is equals to, in this case, we'll start by finding the size of the final matrix. No, no, no. This is what we'll say. We'll say A, B is equals to, open bracket and close bracket. What is the size of matrix A? Three by three. three, by three. 
three by three. Okay, then I'll have another, I'll open another bracket and then I'll close another bracket. What is the size of matrix B? Three by three. Thank you. Now, looking at this screen, uh, what is the number of columns for matrix A? Three. What is the number of what is the number of rows for matrix B? Three. So can A B be multiplied or not? It could be multiplied. And then what would be the size of the final matrix? Three by three. Three by three. Thank you. Since the number of columns in the first matrix is equal to the number of rows in the second matrix, A, B can be computed and then the size of the final matrix is given by the number of rows of the first matrix and the columns of the last matrix. So the size of matrix A, B is a three by three matrix. Now, this is what we do. We say A, B. We take matrix A, we write it as 2, 3, 1, 4, 2, 3, 5, 3, 1. Alongside this matrix, then we will have 3 minus 2, 1, Two, one, one, yes, Gerardo? Those, yes, numbers, those numbers, we fill them into those boxes that you said must drop. Gerardo? At the beginning, you said you must say A, B equals 2, then it drops squares. Like presentation. Please repeat what you said, Larado, so that I can be able to follow. The numbers, we must draw them yeah. in matrix, or we should combine matrices. That's what I'm asking. Okay, this is what I, this is how we will start, my brother. We will say, we will write matrix AB equals to, okay? Then open bracket, close bracket. Then we will write the size of matrix A. What is the size of matrix A? Three by three. Thank you. Next to that, open bracket, close bracket. The size of matrix B. What is it? Three by three. Thank you. Now, our focus is on the right hand side, ne? on the size of the matrices. Ne? Mm. Now, we are saying the number of columns of the first matrix is equal to the number of rows for the second matrix. Do we agree? Yes. Once we agree, once we see that the number of columns is equal to the number of rows in the second matrix, then this tells us that we can be able to calculate A, B, okay? Yes. Then, once we are able, once we have been able to determine that we can be able to calculate A, B, the next thing then is to find the size of the final matrix. Then the size of the final matrix is given by Three by three. Three by three. That first three is coming from is the rows of the first matrix, ne? Yeah? Mm -hmm. And then that other three is the column of the next matrix. Do we agree? Yes. Thank you. Now the next thing that we do is to write matrix A alongside matrix B. Okay. Are you done? Did you do that? 
Yes, I'm doing. Yeah, I'm done. Okay. Now, now we must find a three by three matrix. How do we then do that? This is what we'll do. We'll take the first row yeah, of matrix A. Yeah? Yes, sir. We will run it through the first column of the next matrix. We'll take, this is what we'll do. We'll take the first row of A and run it through the first column of matrix B. By so saying, this is what I'm saying. I'm saying we'll be multiplying, but at the same time adding. How? Okay, the first row of matrix A has got the entries two, three, one. Do we agree? Yes. And then the first column of matrix B has got the entries three, two, zero. Do we agree? Yes. This is what we are going to do then. We'll say two times three. That will give us six. Do we agree? Six. Then we'll say three times two gives us what? Six. six. Then we'll say plus six. Then plus one times zero gives us zero. Are we together? Yes, sir. Are the others still with us or are they gone? Let me check. Um, we still here, sir. You're still here. Are I'm you still with me? Out. I'm out. Now, we are now going to take the first row again. What we did, we took the first row, we ran it through the first column of the second matrix. Mm -hmm. We took the first row of the first matrix and ran it through the first column of the second matrix. We yes. multiply at the same time AD. That's clear, right? Mm -hmm. Now we are going to take row one of the first matrix. We are going to run it through the second column of the second matrix. Are we together? Yes, sir. When we do that, then we are going to have two times minus two is going to give us minus four. Three times one is going to be plus three. One times two is going to be plus two. Do we agree? Yes, sir. Now we are going to take the first row and run it through the last column of the second matrix. We will have two times one will be two. Three times minus one, it will be minus three. Now this sign is going to change to minus three. And then one times four is going to be plus four. Are we together? Yes, sir. Then now we are going to take the second row of the first matrix, we are going to run it through the first column of the second matrix. We'll run it through the second column and finally through the last column. Now let's take the second row and run it through the first column. It's going to be four times three is going to give us 12. Three times, uh, uh, two, two times two, is going to give us plus four. Three times zero is going to give us zero. Now we take this second row, we run it through the second column. We'll have four times minus two is minus eight. Two times one is plus two. Three times two is plus six. Are you still with me? Yes. 
Then now we take the second row, we run it through the last column. So we'll have four times one, that will be four. Two times minus one, it will be minus two. Three times four, that will be plus 12. Okay. Are we together? Yes. I don't know about it. What? Hmm? I'm so still okay, that's it. People, are you still with me? Yes. yes. I haven't yet simplified. I only multiplied and added. Where there is sub subtraction, I subtracted only. That's the only thing that I've done. Then the next thing that we are going to do, we are going to take the third row of the first matrix. We are going to run it through the first column, second column, and third column of the next matrix. Now let's start. We take the third row, we run it through the first column. It's five times three is 15. Plus three times two is plus six. One times zero is zero. Then the last row, we run it through the second column. We have got five times minus two is minus 10. Two times one is plus two. It's three, say three. Huh? Ah, three, yeah, that's three. So, and then one times two is plus two. Now we are going to the last column. It's going to be five times one is going to be five. Three times minus one is going to be minus three, then plus four. Now we simplify. Do we agree that our first entry is 12 in the first row? Yes. Yes, sir. yes, sir. Then our second entry in the first row then becomes yeah. six minus four. Six minus four becomes two. Do we agree? On the second row. First row, second entry. Oh yeah, I think it's one. Say. You think it's one? Let me it's, see. It's Where one, did I say. go wrong? It's minus second. two plus two plus three. Let me see. That's minus four. Plus two plus three. Min minus three. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Minus yes. three. Yeah. And then plus two. Okay. So now our answer becomes minus six. Do we agree? Which like? No, 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 no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang so on, hang on. I'm listening. Yes, it's um when we simplify that it, it's minus four plus three plus two. Right. Hang on, let me convince myself. Is the <laughs> first row? We ran the first row by the second column, so it becomes plus. It becomes first row, second column. This becomes minus four, and then plus, plus three times two. one plus three times one. Uh uh. Mm -mm. Plus two. As say, I think the, the first, the first one, two. Oh, yeah. Hang on, hang on, Spencer. I'll be with you. Don't yes. go away, Spencer. Gear. Yes, sir. Now, he's, you take the first row, ne? we run it through yes. the second column. That's in the second column, right? In the second in, uh, matrix. First row, in the first matrix, we run it through the second column in the second matrix. Okay? Yes. Yes. So the first entry will be two times two times minus three to be minus four. Yeah? Yes. And then three times positive one to be plus three. Yeah? Yes. And then one times two it will be plus two. Yeah? Yes. Yes. So our final answer here it will be this will be minus four 
plus three plus two, which is the positive one. This gives us positive one. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Uh, Spencer, please come again. You are on the floor. Yes. I also wanted to clarify the, the like the multiplication, the, the second row, the first column, the first row and second column there. It will give mm -hmm. us one. Because if you say positive two, one. Yeah, positive one. Yes, I agree with you that we need to have a one there. I had made, had made a mistake. I'm sitting in the dark here. Sir. There is there is no power here. Yes. So now. I'm also not shading, sir. I'm shading everyone. Sir. Everywhere. Yes, yes Lerado. You said. Yes, Lerado. The one. It's the second term on the first. On the first row. Yes, we are still on the first row. So, in the first row, our first entry is twelve. We all agree on that, man. No, wait. We are waiting. We'll wait it's, and then you will tell us when to move. We'll wait. I think I got a 10. Hmm? I got a 10 instead of a 1. You got a 10? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Who else has got a 10 as the first entry in the first row? A second. I, I I think you made the mistake there. Because when you say two multiplied by three, it was supposed to give you six there. I think you made an addition. There. If, if I'm not mistaken. Who yeah. made a mistake? Is it Lerado or me? The one who got 10 there. Because it was supposed <laughs> to be two multiplied by three plus three multiplied by two plus one multiplied by zero then. I think instead of multiplying, he added the, the terms there. That's 12. Two times three plus three times two is 12. Yeah, Do you I'm agree? talking about the, the one who got 10 there. Yes, it's Gerardo. I got 10 as the controller is true. Uh -uh, Lerato, slowly. The first entry in the first row, it should be 12. Do you, is that what you got? I got 12. I agree. 12, thank you. Thank you, Spencer. And then we agree that the second entry in the first row should be 1. Yeah? Yes. Okay, and now we move. You got, you got 10. This is the one. Here? Yeah? I think he got 10 instead of 1. Oh, sir. Who got 10 now? Me. On the second. Gerardo, second entry in the first row. Yes, I got 10. How? Yeah. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. 4 mm -hmm. negative 1. 4. Negative 4 plus 4 is 0. 5. Two, can you can you can you can you can you help me out? Can you fix that? Remember, you have to say your first row, right? And multiply it by your second column in the second matrix. So you will have your two multiplied by a negative two, it will give you a negative four, plus your three multiplied by a positive one, which will give you a positive three, plus one multiplied by two, which will give you three. So you would have negative four plus three plus two. So you like terms of um, three plus two is five minus that four, which gives you a positive one. That's how oh, we get to one. mistake. You are supposed to multiply the first row by the second column. Yes. And I multiply the first by another color of some record, but it's fine, I get it now. Okay. Thank you, Gia. Now, we are now going, going to get the third entry in the first row. 
then we do we agree that our third entry in the first row should be Three. Three. What should it be? Three. Five. It should be three, sir. Three. Yes. yes. Positive three. three. Positive three. Right. Okay. Which which number three. should I write? Positive three or negative three? Yes, our third third entry in the three. second in the Positive three. Positive three. Yes, sir. Do we all agree? Yes. yes no, Mohamed, do you agree? Yes, I agree, sir. I agree. I agree. Maliza, do you agree? Maliza, Hmm. Voyo, do you agree? Yes, sir, I agree. Okay, thank you. Now, do you agree that our first entry in the second row will be positive 16? Yes. Hmm? Yes, sir. Positive yes, sir. Thank you. Then do you agree that our second entry in the second row will be zero? Yes. Yes, sir. Then are we in agreement that our third entry in the second row will be this will be 14. Will be 14. We agree. 14. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then we are now going to the third row. Do we agree that the first entry in the first row will be positive 21? Yes. yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. And then our second entry in the third row, it will be minus five. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes. And then our last entry in the third row, it will be positive six. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. That is how multiplication of matrices is actually performed. Now, as a homework, remember those three matrices of us. We'll continue with them tomorrow. Don't bend those papers where you wrote them down. Those are the matrices that we will do, we will use tomorrow. But here is what I'm requesting you to do for me. I'm requesting you during your spare time to calculate BA. Okay. Sir? What we what we calculated, we calculated A B. So, during your spare time, I'm requesting you to calculate B A. Meaning, what you are going to do, the order of the matrices is going to change. Yeah? Yes. Matrix B first, followed by matrix A. That is what I'll request you to do. And then finally, what I'll request you to do is to get C A. Okay. We'll start by checking these two tomorrow. Did you get that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I requested you to calculate B A during your spare time. The second one is to calculate CA. We'll start by checking them tomorrow. Is everybody happy? Yes, sir. Or not? 
Any question? Any question from anyone? No question. Mohammed. Yes, no Mohammed. Yes, I just wanted to go back to the equality of matrices. I can hardly good. hear you. There, there is a wind. Who's Vuyo, please Vuyo. Move, my brother? <laughs> okay, thank you, Vuyo. Yes, yes no moment. Yes. Understand no moment. The yes. Of matrices. I did. Yes, I didn't understand the part of our equality of matrices. Okay. Yes, sir. Oh, all right, all right. Where should I go? Who gave us that matrix C? Kia. Yeah. Kia. Kia, please give us that matrix again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Kia, please give us another matrix of the same size. We'll, and then we'll call that matrix D. Here, another two by two matrix, please. Um, let's take two, four, mm -hmm. one, mm -hmm. and three. And three. Yes. Thank you. Kia gave us the matrix C as one, two, three, four as the entries. And then matrix D with the entries two, four, one, three. No, Mohamed, do you get that? Yes, sir. I got it. I got it. Okay, matrix C is not equal to matrix D. Why? The first entry in the first row, mm -hmm. the first entry in matrix D, ah, so the first, en the first entry in the first row in matrix mm -hmm. C is one. And the first yes. entry in the first row in matrix D is two. One is not equal to two. Do we agree? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In matrix C, the second entry in I see your hand, uh, Lerato, I'll be with you. In matrix C, the second entry in row one is two. And the second entry in row one in matrix D is four. Two is not mm -hmm. equal to four. Mm -hmm. Yes. Then, in matrix C, the first entry in row two is three, and the first entry in the second row in matrix D is one. one. Yeah. Three is not equal to one. Yes, sir. The last entry in matrix C is four, and the last entry in matrix D is three. Matrix three. Four is not equal to three. Okay, sir. Okay. These two matrices, matrix C and matrix D, they have the same size, but they are not equal because they are entries. The corresponding the entries same. are not equal. Okay, so I understand. And uh, so another question, sir. Let's mm -hmm. say one of the corresponding entries was equal. Would the matrices mm -hmm. be equal? Please come back again. Okay, let's say uh, uh, matrices C and D had a, let's say on, um, let's say one of the entries was equal, right? Mm -hmm. Would we say that they they equal? Okay, only one entry. Let's mm -hmm. say, if you, I heard you clearly, you said, let's say one of the, they have, these two matrices have got one entry, which is equal, meaning one yes. entry in the, in the same position. Ne? Yes, sir. But uh, different entries in other positions, ne? Yes, sir. They are not equal based okay. on that. Okay, I understand now, sir. I understand. Thank I you, understand. No Mohamed. Lerado? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, No Mohamed. Uh, yes. So, so, you are basically saying for matrices to be equal, there must be a carbon copy. Uh huh. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Please ask them whether they understand. They understand what you are saying or not. Do you understand what I'm saying or not? We yeah, understand. Oh. Okay, Lerado. Thank you. That means they understand what you just say. Thank you. Can we then stop here and then we continue tomorrow?